glare right here has always bothered me. <laughs> and I hate that I can't do anything about it except for like move those, which I probably should, but whatever. <sighs> Hi, hello, it's Maya. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be honest, I never know what to say, how to say it, whoever, whatever, when I do this, these things where I, I leave and then I come back and then I leave and then I come back. And I guess like the only thing helping my case is the fact that I have never been consistent with YouTube, you know? I think every time it happens though, I just, I, ha I, I, I think, <laughs> I just wonder like, does anybody actually care still? I know people did at one point. I know that I had like my good my good run between like 2019 and 2020. And so I, I kind of second guess myself a lot and I kind of am like, is it even like worth it? What's the point? But then I just think, well, I do enjoy po posting. <laughs> I do enjoy posting videos and also the fact of like 30,000 something of you subscribe for a reason. I think deep down, that's just like an insecurity of mine. I know that when I post videos, they're not gonna hit 1K until like maybe a week later. And that's completely fine by me. All that being said, I don't know what's happened to me within the last week. I keep seeing these TikToks of people being like, when your when your frontal lobe finally develops. And honestly, that's the way it feels right now. The last like year, two years of my life, I feel like has all been building up to this point. And I'm not lying to you guys when I say like, it has been the shittiest fucking two years of my life. <laughs> like just all around health wise, phys physical health wise, mental health wise, relationships, shit with my job, like everything. And I know I've spoken about it before in like previous videos, so I'm really not gonna like get all into it. I'm just here to say like, I'm over it, I'm done. I feel like everything in my life is like coming to a head. And honestly, I'm just fucking tired of making excuses. Realistically, that's what it, everything boils down to. I'm tired of making excuses. Now, when it comes to like my physical issues and like my chronic health issues, I do make excuses for those types of things a lot and I do think that they're valid. I love talking with my hands. <laughs> I do think that they're valid because that shit's fucking hard to deal with. I think I've just had to come to terms and come to the realization that like I'm always going to have something wrong with me. And I'm not trying to sound like melodramatic, but I'm just being realistic. I am always going to have something wrong with me. Whether it's me being sick, an ear infection, a double ear infection, a sinus issue, whatever chronic illness flaring up. Maybe I pulled a muscle. Maybe I feel nauseous that day. Maybe I'm getting vertigo spells. Maybe I just feel wobbly and dizzy. Maybe I'm dealing with like really bad like depersonalization that day. It's a cycle. And I'm not gonna lie to you. Like it's really discouraging. And it's really hard to deal with. But I think like I said, the main thing that I've been having to like tell myself is that like one is okay. <laughs> I will be fine. I may not feel the greatest. I may be in pain. It may make me feel really depressed, but like I will I will be okay. And number two, like I, I accept it. So now it's like I've I've always played this waiting game with my life and my decisions, like you know, waiting for when I feel better to do something, waiting for when I'm skinny. <sighs> waiting until my personal relationships with whoever in my life is stabilized. Like I'm I'm done with waiting. And I know that's easier said than done. And I could be like, I don't like saying having a manic episode because I'm not bipolar, but like I could be, I could be a little bit manic right now. And maybe next week I'll, I will go back to like my depressed self. <laughs> but as of this moment right now, I'm over it. All that to say, what am I changing? Let's get into that. So on my PC, on my little sticky notes, I have like big goals that I want to accomplish this year. Am I in focus? Sorry. I had six in the beginning of the year and now I have three, maybe four. I maybe I think I maybe added an another one, but either way, I got three done already and it's only March. So fucking pat on the back, go me for that. But those are just like big life goals. On my iPad, I've written down smaller goals or just things that I want to happen this year. So let's go through those. Um, I made it really small so you can't really see, but these are the goals. And then all this over here, let me zoom in a little bit more. All of this, that's all like medical stuff that I have to do. Like I'm not kidding when I say that my body is breaking down. Anyways, back to like regularly scheduled programming. First goal, I wanna work out three times a week. This can be anything. This can be going for a walk. It can be walking on the treadmill for 20 minutes. It can be lifting weights for 15 minutes. It can be Pilates. It can be whatever. As long as I am fucking getting something in, I will be happy. And I think to like branch off of that, I also want to like on my rest days, I still want to be like somewhat active. Like I'm already active because I work a physical 
job, you know, like I'm constantly walking around there. On top of that, like I wanted to maybe do like 15 minutes of yoga or something on like my rest days, just because branching off of that, I wanna like improve my flexibility because I have a lot of like hip mobility issues, I guess I'll just call it that. I did, I think it was like a 20 minute workout yesterday, which was like the first workout that I've done since like October. I had a good stint last year where I worked out from like, it was like July to October. Like I was really like very active. I pretty much was just using like body weights, bands, like a 7.5 pound weights and stuff. But like when I did like the Romanian deadlifts, I was using a 10 pound uh, kettlebell and I was going so slow because I don't want to like injure myself because I have all these problems and I want to take it very slow. <laughs> but my legs were fucking shaking. Like I was trembling and I'm like, I'm only doing two sets of 10. Like, so yeah, we're doing that. Tying into that kind of, I wanna do daily stretches. I don't know what it is. My body's always sore. I always have something wrong with me. My back lately and my neck, like I have a pulled muscle in my neck right now. From what? I don't know. I feel like I just like sleep on my neck wrong all the time, but I'm like, how am I supposed to fix that if I'm fucking asleep while I'm do whatever. I'm just constantly like pulling muscles <laughs> essentially. So yeah, that ties into the whole like flexibility, mobility stuff. I just kind of want to get all that in order and really just like focus on my physical health. And a big reason why I wasn't doing that is because I was in like so much pain all the time. It's so hard to like focus when you're doing that stuff in the moment because it's like I want to focus on my movements and like mind muscle connection, but also my mind, my brain can't get off the fact that I'm in pain. It's like I can never figure out that balance between caring for myself and letting myself have like these rest days and telling myself like it's okay to not do these things if you don't feel well, but also being like, like I almost feel like I'm gaslighting myself. Like, do I actually feel this bad? Can I actually do something if I want to? Am I really this tired? Or the amount of times I'm at work and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna work out and like something's gonna happen, right? And then I get home and I get so exhausted. Like it's actually insane. I feel it's like, it's it's like, what, what is it? Pav, I can never say it properly. So don't make fun of me. Pav loves dog. <laughs> like I step into my house and just like, it just the exhaustion, the tiredness, that's the same thing. I can physically feel my body like just like shut down a little bit when I come home. And unfortunately for me, I'm one of those people where like caffeine really doesn't have that big of an effect on me. I feel like it's like 20% of like what it could be. Like I have, I've bought pre-workout before and I have taken it before a workout and I'm like, wow, I don't actually feel a difference. Caffeine doesn't, doesn't do shit for me. And it kind of sucks, I say as I'm drinking coffee. So anyways, I blabbered on enough about that. Let's move along. This one's just random. I would like to cook meals for my parents like three to four times a week. Not a week, oh my God, a month. Back when my ex and I were still together, we loved trying new recipes and cooking shit. Pretty much every time I cook, my mom's like, that smells fucking good. And I'm like, it is fucking good. Would you like to try some? And then she, then she tries some and she's like, bitch, oh my God. And I'm like, I know, right? So yeah, I think when our relationship ended, I obviously got like very sad and all that shit. And there's so much I had to like process and everything. Thankfully, I am, I think I'm at a good place with that, finally. Obviously, I didn't, like, want to cook anymore, and I was like, what's the point, you know? But now I'm like, no, like, I actually really fucking enjoy cooking, and just because I don't have anyone to cook for, no, like, I do have people to cook for. I can cook for my parents, and it will be a grand swell time. I think that would be really f nice of me to do. And yeah, you know, maybe I do want them to compliment me on my chef skills, okay? The next one is prioritizing my self-care. I struggle with this all the time, specifically when I was in a relationship. So some things that go into like prioritizing my self-care is like taking my vitamins, doing my stretches in the morning, getting adequate sleep. I also want to try to start waking up. Well, I've been waking up at like seven o'clock in the morning, so that's good. I just want to make sure that I'm getting like a good amount of sleep 95% of the time. Flossing and brushing my teeth. I'm pretty good at brushing my teeth, but flossing is something that I've never been good at, but I've been like trying to do it at least once a day just because I, oh my God. Well, number one, I just, you need to, you need to floss. But number two, I saw a TikTok of somebody like talking about how they got so grossed out at the thought of not flossing because why would they want food like rotting in their teeth all day. And I was like, that puts it into perspective. I am now going to floss. Yeah, skincare and also reading. I've been reading a bunch. I have two books right here. I, well, I took the covers off because I don't like that. I have four in total. This next one is kind of a little bit more serious, I guess. I don't know, but I want to keep 
my drinking to only once a week and if I do drink just like three shots max and it's like obviously I'm being I'll be realistic here like if I'm gonna go out with my friends you know like I'm maybe maybe I will have a day where I drink more and I just like take shots and whatever like I have no problems with that I just I really did make it a habit where I was getting drunk way too often <laughs> for my liking and honestly, I would be lying if I said that I wasn't using it as a coping mechanism because I was. I definitely was in like 2022 when I was really going through like my severe like health stuff. I just wanted to keep the drinking to such a fucking minimum because I can recognize when things are becoming an issue and are unhealthy and also I just don't want to get cancer. Cool. Let's move on to the fun one. I need to get tattoos. I need- okay. It is not a want. It is- it is not a want. It is a need. <laughs> I have not gotten a tattoo since 2018. It has been six years. Six years. From 2018 to 2020, the main reason was just I didn't have time. I also was going through like medical shit at that time because like I said, I always am. So like I was just like nervous to go like do things by myself and like have to like deal with like my medical issues while I'm getting a tattoo and like just being so nervous about that. And then 2020 happens and oh my God, okay, COVID. So for like two years from like 2020 to 2022, I wasn't comfortable going out and doing anything. Oh, okay. And then 2022 happens and I get some of the worst medical shit that I've ever dealt with in my life. Awesome. Cool. So literally there's been something. There's been something holding me back every year and I now finally think that I'm at a place where I'm just like, no, like this is what I mean where I'm saying like I'm not making excuses. Granted, COVID isn't an, ex isn't an excuse. I'm just not making excuses for myself. Who cares if you're nervous, Maya? Everyone is fucking nervous, okay? Walk into that damn tattoo shop, say, do you have any availability today? And if they say no, say, okay, can I make an appointment? All right, I already emailed two people and I'm making this happen. I just feel like the vibe I just gave off and the energy I am just radiating right now is 100%. Like I'm over it, I'm fed up, like shit is gonna happen. All right, so what is gonna happen today? I'm going to make breakfast, go to work, come home, do my yoga because it's a rest day, take a shower, put lotion on afterward, play my silly little video games, and edit this video and that's what's gonna happen I just want to get my life in order and honestly there's so many other things that's that's happening in my life that I just have not spoken about publicly to anybody except for like three close friends and I know I hate when people do that which like why the fuck even mention it then I'm just also kind of saying like I'm not getting this like hyped up over just like these things in my life there are other factors that make me just feel like I am over it let's Let's do the damn thing. Cool. I'm gonna go do what I gotta do. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for whenever I post a new video next. Who knows when that's gonna be. And I will see you guys. Why did I sound like that? And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.